Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are doing my empties for January. Now it is a little bit early, it's only the 22nd, but if I don't film it now, I'm working in the week, so I'll next get to film it like next weekend. I don't know what's going on with my hair today. Um, so that's like the last weekend of the month. And if something else comes up, I don't want it to be like mid-February before it gets posted, so I'll just start doing it now. So, I mean, I've still finished quite a lot of products, to be honest. So there's going to be a lot to talk about, as usual. I'll try and keep my nattering to a minimum. So these are all the products that have become empty this month. Quite a lot. So just before we dive into it, as a disclaimer, I do receive a lot of smaller products, miniatures, sample sizes from beauty boxes and advent calendars. I had so many advent calendars last year that I've got enough products to last me at least a year. So I do try and get through those, which is probably one of the reasons why it looks like there's so many products there. Um, however, I do tend to use and try to use a product completely before moving on to the next product. Um, I don't like to waste product, I don't like to be wasteful. Um, the only time I'll stop using a product is if it doesn't really work with my skin, if, basically if we don't get on. So yeah, other than that, I try to use a product completely um, before getting rid of it. And I only open one product at a time, finish it completely, then move on to the next one. So yeah, that's just how I do it. Um, where possible, I do try and recycle these. So these will go in my recycle bin. A couple of lovely subscribers have told me in the past that there are some schemes in like I think someone said John Lewis, I think there's maybe a Sainsbury's one or a Boots one where you can actually take your empty products, recycle them there and then get a voucher in exchange. Um, I'm not near any of those shops unfortunately, but yeah, I just try to recycle them where I can. But if you are interested in that, then definitely give it a Google and see if that's something you can do because if you can get a voucher out of it as well, you're helping the planet, you're recycling and you can get a voucher towards more products, which is great. So if you are interested in seeing what products became empty in January for me? Oh, that's another thing I didn't say. These aren't products that I've started and finished in January, they just become empty. So like some of these I was using in December and they become empty in January. So I just kind of tell you like whether I like the product, whether I didn't like the product and if I buy it again. So yeah, that's basically the empty video if you've not seen an empty video before. So yeah, let's dive into the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so let's start with masks. Okay, so these are all the masks that I have used this month. So, I'm going to leave the funniest till the last. So, the first thing that comes up in my empties pretty much almost every month now is the Foreo UFO 2. Um, this is the Call It A Night mask. So, I use this with my Foreo device, which is here actually. This is my Foreo device. So, there's a little circular mask in here. Pop it on this side um, and... It works with an app on your phone, it basically heats up, cools down, uses LED technology and it also pulsates on your skin as well, um, so that your skin gets the most of the ingredients in the mask. Um, I love these masks, I use them quite a lot. Uh, yeah, those are definitely my fave. It's nice to do in a pamper for a nighttime skincare routine. Um, and next we've got the Vita Masks Pearl Sheet Mask. It's upside down because there's still serum in it. This is a very serum-y one. Um, I've actually used this before, it was in a glossy box a while ago. I think then I got it in... Uh, was it Generation Glossy Box? I think maybe I can't remember. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice mask. I do really like Vita Masks as a face mask brand, and this one is really nice. It says it's brightening. Um, like I can't really tell if it does that, but it's a nice mask anyway. Like I would definitely reuse this one. It was really good. Um, another one, which is another one of my favourites, is the Rodeo Vitamin C Energizing Face Mask. I love these. These are so nice. Uh, there's this one and there's the pink diamond one. They're um, biocellulose masks, I think. Yes, yeah, a biocellulose mask. So it's basically super, super thin, which means it can really get into the contours of your face. Um, and yeah, your skin just absorbs the serum. Um, it's just amazing. I absolutely love this one. Um, it's an energizing face mask. I feel like it just gives your skin a bit of a kick, to be honest, like once you've used it. Um, yeah, really like that one. Um, then I've used three of the Elemis eye masks. So this is the packet for them that I saved. It's the Pro Collagen Hydrogel Eye Mask Anti-Aging. You get three in the packet and I've used all three. Um, this is what I got in the um, Cult Beauty kit. What was it called before Christmas? Like a sleep wellness kind of, I can't remember what it's called. I did unbox it, so I'll link that here if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, these three masks, love these. Um, really, really nice. They're kind of like, they're a gel, but they've kind of got like, I don't really know how to describe it, like a crisscross structure to them. So that it does stay in place, like it doesn't slide down your face as you've got them on. Um, they are really nice, they're soothing. Um, 
I say this quite often with eye mask, my hair is so fluffy today, I've just washed it and it's just kind of not done anything with it. So yeah, excuse that. Um, but yeah, I do say this with eye masks, like I don't know if they're doing anything to be honest, because sometimes you don't see results straight away, but I'm just hoping that if I carry on using them, then it will just prevent any um, fine lines and wrinkles in the future. So I'm just going to carry on using them. My eyes seem to be fine at the moment. Um, don't really seem to have many lines around this area, so they must be doing something. That's what I'm going to go with anyway. Um, but yeah, really nice. They're quite expensive these, so I mean, I would rebuy those if they're on offer in a box or something because I do have a lot of other eye masks and other products like that. Beta masks, uh, I probably wouldn't buy that specifically. If it was on offer, it was in a box, I'd definitely use it. Rodeo, I'd definitely rebuy. Now, the final mask, I just, I don't know about this one. This was in an advent calendar, I think. I want to say it was the Feel Unique advent calendar. This is by Wishful and it's a chin lift sculpting sheet mask. This is the packet. So I've not actually used any mask from Wishful before. Um, this is the first one and it's a chin lift. Now I've used a chin mask before. I don't think they do anything to be honest. I mean, they might do, I have no idea. But you basically, you put it here and then it goes like round your ears. And it just meant to like pull your chin up a bit and kind of sculpt it. Very strange. It felt like a bandage. Um, I don't know if it's got the shape of it on here. No, it doesn't show you. Um, but this one, it didn't go over your mouth. I've had them before where it starts here, but this one started here and it went down to about here. Um, so it's like this thick and then it just went around my ears. So you have to stretch it beforehand so you can like put it around your ears so it's not uncomfortable. Um, yeah, texture of it was like, it felt like a bandage on the outside, but on the inside it was like, a bit sticky like it almost like stuck to your skin a bit but then it didn't feel like it had serum on it although it's got lots of ingredients in it so obviously it does um and it's meant to have a lifting effect enhance your jawline sculpt your appearance and give hydration i didn't see any of that i just looked a bit daft for half an hour but i i put it on and then i facetimed my sister and we had a good laugh so yeah it was worth it for that but i wouldn't buy those again i don't think they do anything i might be wrong but i don't know it just seems a bit daft Okay, next, I'm just going to do whatever's at the front. So the next thing is, I'll be honest, this one isn't empty. This is a product. I've tried and tried and tried to like it. I just can't do it. It just stings my eyes so bad. The Body Shop Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Now I've tried this because it was in a set with the Chamomile Cleansing Balm. And I really like that product. It's such a good cleansing balm. Um, and Christmas last year, they had a set with this in it as well. So I thought I'll get the set instead of just one on its own. Um, and I'll try this out. But every time I've used it, it just stings my eyes so much. Like, it irritates my eyelids. It just, it's just awful for me. Like, it just doesn't work for me at all. And I've tried and tried and tried. It's, it's about, we're well, about down here. So you can see how much I've tried, but I just can't do it anymore. It's just irritating my eyes. It just stings. And, yeah, I don't know what it is. Because the actual cleansing balm is really nice. But it just, no. So I wouldn't get that again. And if there's a set, I'd, I wouldn't buy the set. I'd get the actual balm on its own because there's no point wasting that product on me because I'm not going to use it. Okay, next we've got from Rituals. It's the Foam Fiesta Foaming Shower Gel, the Ritual of Holy. Cool your world with love. It's Flamingo Flower and Pink Grapefruit. This was in the Advent Calendar for Rituals. And I've used the body cream from this before and it's so nice. I do love Rituals. The scents are amazing. The products are so good. Now, Foaming Shower Gels, I've used them before from Imperial Leather when they've been in a glossy box. And on the back it says like 15 uses and it takes me about three uses because I must use too much of it but it literally lasts three showers so I thought that's not going to last long then either. This has lasted me like 20 showers like it's ridiculous. You think oh it's going to be empty this time you squeeze it and like more and more comes out and you're like how's it even fitting in here like how's this got so much product in? It lasts forever so this has taken me such a long time to actually use up. I don't think it tells you how many uses are inside but yeah it's a lot like 50 ml but obviously it's a gel that turns into a foam as you squirt it out but it lasts forever and it's amazing it feels so so creamy it's really nice um i've got a few more of these from, from the advent calendar to use um so yeah i do really like that one next we've got a conditioner from we are paradox and it's the first conditioner i've had in like like a metal tube um it's the repair three in one conditioner apres shampooing 30 ml that's what it looks like um, this was nice. Yeah, this was really nice actually. I did really like this one. I just didn't really like the packaging. It was quite hard to get out, especially like, when you get to the end because it does take a bit of like pushing because it's obviously like like metal. Like, do you know what I mean? Like a very, it's like um, 
Like when you get a cream from the doctor and it's like in that tube and you have to squeeze it but when you've like got wet hands in the shower it's quite difficult um and i feel like this actually lasted two uses for me so that was kind of a waste of packaging for just two uses obviously this like is it aluminium i think this is obviously better than plastic for the environment um i just thought it was quite tricky to actually get out and yeah just two uses in that so it was a nice to try it um but yeah really really good so hopefully they do much bigger sizes um, in this but yeah that was really nice that one. Next we've got my favourite moisturiser. This is the Sal de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is amazing. I love this so much. It just smells like holiday in a tub. Oh my god. It smells so good. I couldn't get the very last bits of it because I've got nails on. I tried getting my knuckle in um, but I just gave up. But yeah it smells so good. I love this so much. It really like nourishes your skin as well it's a really good moisturizer it's not just the scent it actually like works really well so yeah i love this one um i definitely get this one again again and again and again i do have two more of these in the cupboard but they're the pink one and uh, i forgot what that's called right now but yeah so i'm going to use those first before i top up on these ones but amazing it smells so good uh, another body cream i finished is the elemis frangipani monoi body cream again this is another one of my faves this smells incredible um, I first discovered this with the oil. It's like a, a solid and then you warm it in the bath um, and then it turns into an oil. And it smells so, so good. So I think this was actually in that set that I got from Elemis at Christmas from QVC when they did the deal. So I'll link that video here so you can check that out. Yeah, this smells so good. This is my favourite Elemis scent ever. It's amazing. Really nice body cream as well. Really nourishing. It soaks into the skin quickly as well. So you don't have to wait for ages to get dry. Um, before you can get dressed after the shower I'd buy this a million times over as well so yeah using some of my faves this month okay another showery product is this from Fekai this is a shampoo and this is the full blown volume shampoo weightless amplifier uh, this was in an advent calendar I've tried the green one before but never the yellow one it was really nice yeah I've nothing really bad to say about that did last a few uses and my hair felt really clean I enjoyed using it it was a nice shampoo so yeah. Okay, next is another shower product and this is from, I want to say Bouclame, Bouclem, I don't know how you say it. Uh, it's Curls Redefined Hydrating Hair Cleanser. Now when I got this I thought, why is it called a hair cleanser and not a shampoo? Like is there a difference? Um, and it says Curls Redefined, it's for um, perfect for fine hair, loose waves and co-washers looking for a deeper cleanse. Cleanses without upsetting that na natural moisture balance. Now this was the weirdest shampoo I've ever used because it was so runny. It's like a liquid. Like you open that and it just like pooled. And I had to like quickly get it onto my hair without it like dribbling down. It's like really difficult to use. I wasn't a fan really. I didn't think it was that good. Um, so this was in the Boots Showstopper box which was like the best sellers. They were winning products for 2021. I don't know why this was included because it just wasn't really that good for me. Maybe it's because my hair's quite thick. Maybe if I had thinner hair or curly hair maybe I'd you know appreciate it more but i don't know i just didn't really do much it wasn't great I, f I felt like i needed to clean it with a shampoo afterwards after i'd used it because i didn't feel like it was a shampoo but yeah that's just my opinion okay we've got um oh another shampoo you see i've been going through shampoos quite quickly because they're only small samples that i've been using this is so nice oh my god this is from it's m-a-u-i maui maui Ma I, don't I don't know uh, it's the Moisture Hair Care Revive and Hydrate Shea Butter Shampoo for Dry Damaged Hair. This was in the, I think it was the Amazon Advent Calendar last year. I didn't really think much of it because it just, I've never heard of it before. It wasn't that fussed, but oh my god, when I smelled this, it smells incredible for starters. You can really smell like, I think it's the Shea Butter you can smell. It smells so good, like really nourishing. Oh, like really tasty. It reminds me of like um, a moisturiser that I use on holiday. Um, and then I used it on my hair lathers amazingly really cleanse my hair and then when it came to actually drying it afterwards and like brushing it it was really smooth and like really silky so i just think it actually worked so well um especially with my hair being quite thick as well like it does look quite frizzy today so today i've just used a color wild shampoo and then a bedhead conditioner and not put anything else on it at all well that's a lie i've actually put my like my leave-in conditioner um but when i was using this one and then my leave-in conditioners it just looked smoother than this and yeah i really liked it so i definitely get this one again and this is on amazon as well so I can make use of that prime delivery get it next day but yeah i really like that one okay next i've got another hair product this is from lee stafford it's power shots so 
actually there's nothing in there it was the little capsules you know like we've had before like the elizabeth arden capsules that you twist the top off and it's got product in well this contained like hair oil these are really nice they're a little bit messy um and excessive packaging for just some little um capsules like that's a lot of plastic so i don't feel like that is needed it still looks nice the products are really nice um it didn't look greasy either on my hair which is why i worry about with like oils i don't want it to look greasy um, but yeah, I just put it like from here downwards and it was really nice. Would definitely get those again. They're really good. I've got another shampoo and conditioner here, another miniature. This is Rahua, I think it's called. Uh, the Hydration Shampoo and Hydration Conditioner. This was in um, Harrods Advent Calendar, I think. Um, tiny little sample and literally it was tiny inside as well. 22 mil in each of these, but like it was one use that was it it was one use it wasn't even a full tube so i can't really tell if this was good or not because it was just one use i think it was okay but i feel like there's you know no real way of reviewing it just from one use i feel like i need to try more so i feel like it's a bit daft just putting it in just for one use because i'm not going to rebuy it just based off that one use so yeah can't really report back on these but i wanted to mention them anyway nice little duo and it was nice to actually see like a duo in an advent calendar not just a shampoo or a conditioner so yeah okay another hair product we've got the living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo again this has been in so many of my empties videos before this is amazing um i haven't actually bought this yet because it's always in boxes calendars and stuff so i've had my little stash um this is it though now i'm back on batiste <laughs> but yeah this is so good so when i use batiste um and other cheaper brands you know like you can get like that white powdery kind of look and you really have to rub it in and it's just it just feels like not nice uh, with this one it says it actually cleans hair eliminates oil sweat and odor and it actually does like you spray this in rub it in and it instantly looks cleaner it doesn't feel tacky and what i love about this is say if i say if i hadn't washed my hair today so it like needed a wash if i put this in my hair and then slept in it tonight tomorrow it would look so fresh and it feels so clean it is amazing it's a little bit pricier than other brands but i feel like it's worth it um so yeah i did have i've got two huge batiste you know the big size in my drawer and i've had them there for ages so i'm using them first but then i feel like this needs to be invested in because it's so good really good um i've also tried the way dry shampoo uh, that was in empties months ago now uh, that was really good as well another one that was more expensive but i feel like it's worth it because your hair just looks and feels cleaner and yeah it's great okay we've got a couple of cleansers now uh one two three cleansers okay so the first one is the clinique take the day off cleansing balm this is the packaging for this one this was in a calendar i think i can't most of these are in calendars these make sure i can't remember now this was nice it was quite like a solid balm though like i had to dig my nail in and then like massage it in my fingers to like melt it before I could like rub it on my face. So it was really nice. It worked well, but I just didn't really like the consistency. I prefer more like a butter kind of balm. Um, then we've got the Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm. So we've all seen this one before as well. This one is more of a balm, like it's softer. So I prefer this one to the Clinique one, if I'm honest. Uh, I think it was just because the Clinique one is so solid. Um, I just it's just hard to get out and then it you know if you scrape it with your nail it's in your nail um, like with this one I could use my knuckle and just scoop it out and it's really soft um, they both work so well I'd be happy to use either of these again as a first cleanse to remove my makeup no complaints about either they both worked really nicely yeah just prefer this one for the texture over this one and then as a second cleanse I was using the Pro Collagen en Energizing Marine Cleanser from Elemis I absolutely love this I finished the full size of this a few months ago it was amazing um, it smells good, it really cleanses your skin but it's not stripping at all, it's a really nice gel cleanser. This was in the Glossy Box Advent Calendar on day one which was a really nice surprise. Um, and yeah, finished this one. I've now moved on to the next size up of this, the 50ml, I think it is, it might be 100ml, that I got in the Elemis uh, set before Christmas from QVC. So yeah, I really like this, I would happily buy this one again and again and again. Um, a really nice cleanser, absolutely love it. And it's from the Pro Collagen range, it's anti-aging so... Anything that says anti-aging, I'm all about trying. Okay, what have we got now? Oh, I've got another body moisturiser, actually. This really big one. How did I miss this? This is the Body Shop Warm Vanilla Body Yogurt. Now, I actually got this in a set last Christmas, right? And inside this set, there was the yogurt, there was the hand cream, there was a body scrub and a shower gel. Now, 
didn't open any of them kept them just in in the set so they hadn't been opened and then i started using this one in december and it's the nicest thing ever it soaks into your skin really nicely it doesn't leave any like tackiness it does it quite quickly as well so like you can get dressed quite quite fast after having a shower and it smells oh my god so nice this is like beautiful oh just so nice i love it so much so yeah i was using that one absolutely adored this finished this um start of january and then at the same time i was using the hand cream i opened the hand cream this is so nice as well again smells incredible um the only one i've used before this is the is it the argan oil one the blue one um and that is so nice a really really good um hand cream because it soaks into your skin and again it's like it soaks in so fast so you don't have to like sit here like this for ages trying to dry your hands um so yeah i was using this and the smell is unreal went online to buy some more this was a limited edition one from last year why did no one tell me why i don't know why they do that though because like it's such a nice scent so then i was looking and they had some on amazon thinking are you real have you been opened i don't know so i didn't risk it but why did they do that they bring out some amazing scents and then you can't get them again so i'm not impressed with the body shop but yeah fingers crossed they bring this back because oh my god this is unreal like you need this in your life it smells amazing okay next we've got one makeup product which is the kevin Aquan the precision liquid liner this is what this looks like just um like a liquid eyeliner pencil this was amazing very precise it was a felt tip nib um but quite flexible at the end as well so it's really good for getting it over the eye um i thought this was amazing and then i went back to my cat Von D beauty one tattoo liner and um, when this ran out and that one is so much better like i thought this was really good but then when you compare it like so close you can just really tell the difference so i do prefer the cat Von D one this was really good though so if this is in like a box or an advent calendar or something that was a gift definitely use it great eyeliner um i just prefer the consistency and the flexibility of the cat Von D beauty one so yeah but really nice um eyeliner so i'd say this is in my top five maybe top three was really good okay next we've got some skincare so we've got this is from aborian now i kept the box to show you because this is like such a nice serum so this was sent to me in pr this was a newly launched serum maybe like october time last year november october maybe um the launch of four different serums this one is the user super serum and then yeah this is the box they had four different ones they've got a ginseng one they've got um in fact let me just get the leaflet i'm back okay so this is the leaflet they sent so these are the super serums um each is created with a specific skincare need in mind they contain they contain an 80 percent concentration of their lead active ingredient an additional booster and a prebiotic to keep your skin's microbiome happy throughout the changing seasons so it says with all serums ideal actives are high up on the ingredient list but we decided to take it one step further and I've got 80% concentration. So yeah. So those are the four that they brought out. So they've got the ginseng, which is the anti-aging powerhouse. I really want to try that one, to be honest. Um, they've got the red pepper, which is a glow giver. Um, bamboo, which is hydration station. And then the user, which is comforting protection. So the user one says it immediately comforts the skin and harnesses the power of both user extracts and user fruit water. Both are rich in vitamin C and ceramide C24, which are essentially maintaining the skin's barrier function. Yeah, it was amazing. It was so good. I love this so much. So I would definitely get this one again. Um, I'd love to try the ginseng one, the red one. But yeah, definitely recommend these. They are quite liquidy serums, so they're quite watery. So you have to like be careful like when you're squirting it out, um, just so it doesn't dribble. But then I just pat it together and pat it into my skin and it's just amazing. My skin has honestly never been so soft. Um, when using this and I just feel like it's looked nice and yeah it's amazing love it definitely love this yeah I'll definitely get that again I really recommend it yeah Aborian skincare is amazing like they do so many gorgeous products I've not found a product from them that I don't like and um, it's Korean skincare really good ingredients and yeah, I definitely recommend checking them out because they're just amazing so this obviously was sent in PR I wasn't expecting it I'm not asked to share anything about it I'm not asked to give you my opinion but i've used it and i love it so i share things i love um and that is one of them okay next we've got the murad retinol youth renewal night cream i've used this before really nice night cream this was in the next beauty box whenever i bought that one september time i don't know 
Um, yeah, this is a really nice cream. Contains retinol. So looking after those fine lines and wrinkles, getting rid of them. Yeah, really nice. It's kind of nourishing, but not too thick. Um, it does soak in really nicely. And yeah, it's just nice knowing that it has retinol in as well. So it's still like a working to keep your skin look really young. Um, the only thing I'm not too keen on is the dispenser. It's great for doing like just two pumps, but you never know when it's going to be empty. So I had to keep unscrewing it because if you unscrew it, you can actually see like what's left inside. Um, just when I, when I need my next night cream. Because um, yeah, I just, I like to know when it's going to come to an end. So I don't have to keep pumping them. I'm like, oh, it's finished now. What am I going to use next? Um, yeah, really nice cream. Uh, I've had this before. I would get it again. Um, the next night cream I moved on to after that finished was the Clarins Extra Firming Night Cream Wrinkle Control Regenerating Night Cream. This was in the next box as well, I think it was. Uh, this is amazing. This is so good. My skin was so soft using this. It's like, use it obviously at night. It's a night cream. Use it overnight. But the next morning, wow, this was so good. So, yeah, this is going to be... What I'm going to do is actually put together, like... A little box in here and like my favorite products throughout the year i'm going to put in this box and do a video in like the end of december of this year um of my favorite skincare products and beauty products of the whole entire year so this is definitely going in that box because it is amazing this like is unreal so yeah definitely get this one again i'm gonna look out for it in like kits and stuff and yeah really recommend trying this one out really nice nourishing night cream and it's wrinkle control so i don't see any wrinkles yet so yeah must be doing something Okay, next. Now, we've got a vitamin C serum. I love my vitamin C serums. Um, I always say this. My favourite is the Dermalogica, followed by the Medicaid one. Now, I tried this one. I'm just going to show you the bottom bit because I've, like, undone it. This is the Sunday Riley CEO 15% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. This was in a calendar. I was super excited to try this. Now, after, like, a few days, I found it quite tricky to actually get the product out. This is the top. It's like a pump dispenser. Um, yeah, really, really tricky to get the product out. And then eventually I kind of like tugged at it. I thought there must be something, like maybe it's stuck. Maybe I can just pour it out instead. And when you take it out, this is what's inside. So it's like the tiniest little bit of plastic, but like look at all that packaging. Just for that. And like, I, there's no way you can get that last bit out either. Like you can press it all you want. It's not coming out because it's like sucked all the air out of it. It's like a vacuum. So most useless packaging ever. Um, also, it's kind of like a cream than a serum, so I'd, I'd see this as more like a moisturiser than a natural serum. I mean, obviously, it was nice, but once I put this on, I didn't feel like I could then go in with another serum because I felt like this was too thick. So yeah, I wouldn't get this one again. Uh, it was nice on the skin. I was like to have my vitamin C on, so it was doing the job there, but yeah, I feel like it's ridiculous packaging and not much product in it for what it is. Um, and yeah, I wasn't much of a fan of it being like a cream. I prefer like an actual serum. And then the final product is from a Dermalogica. It's the Multivitamin Power Recovery Mask. This was just a little sample. This lasted me two uses. Yeah, this is a really nice mask. So I felt like I had a little bit of dry skin. I'd been using some skincare um, that just dried out my skin a little bit. Um, and I just needed a little bit of a recovery kind of mask. So I used this one. Um, it was great. Kind of, the dry skin was still there. Like it didn't heal it instantly but it definitely helped um, and my skin did feel really good afterwards. It's like a yellowy kind of mask. You pop it on, leave it for like, I think it's 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes um, and then just wipe it off. And yeah, skin felt really nice. So those are all the products that I used up in January that became empty. Um, let me know if you've used any of these products in the comments down below or if you recommend any other products. Um, I'll try and link as many of these as I can in the description if you want to try any of them out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video.